Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch. And today we're talking about Open UPM or Open Unity Package Manager. And this is exactly what it says on the tin. This is a package management tool, an open source repository for Unity packages, automatically handles building and deploying them to your project. A couple of advantages over Unity, it allows you to add them directly to your project, for example, and everything we are looking at today is open source as well. So if you want to check this one out, it is available at openupm.com, as you can see right there. And we're going to just start the off by getting into some really hot and sexy command line action. So we're going to go jump into the good bits. So you want to go ahead and install this guy. You're going to need one of two things. You're going to have to have NPM, which is the Node Package Manager. It's uh, a package installer for uh, Node.js or JavaScript. Uh, you can get it at nodejs.com. Org, I believe it is. You probably already have it installed. Otherwise, you can use the Yarn Package Manager. I'm going to use uh, NPM because I already have it installed. And we just do an install-g to say we're going to install this one globally. And then we're doing open upm-cli, standing for command line interface. And we'll just go ahead and let that run. This will install everything you need to work with this guy. And it takes a few minutes. It's basically, it's resolving all of the dependencies, which, by the way, is one of the nice things about package managers in general. They handle dependency resolution. So if this package handles requires this package, which requires this package, uh, you can um, it, the package manager takes care of all of that stuff for you. Um, you can, of course, do this inside of the Unity interface. It doesn't have as much um, of the dependency resolution, although it is definitely getting better there. But it also installs packages globally, whereas this one allows you to install packages on a project-by-project -project basis. On that topic, now that we have it installed, you'll notice I am here in my Unity directory. I'm going to go into one of my projects. So I'm going to change into the directory of a Unity project I've already created. And now what we can do is go open... UPM, and I always want to do VPN. If I do that in this video, I apologize. My hands are just hardwired. And now we can go ahead and do a search of the packages that are available there. So we're going to do a search and say that we want to do string management one. We'll just do open UPM search. And there is all the string related packages when they were added, what version they are currently at. So now what I'm going to do uh, is let's do a, another search instead. I'm going to search for 2D packages. So do open UPM, search 2D, and you can see we've got those six packages there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install this one, just pretty much picked at random. So uh, to install a package, you go into the project directory. So like here, like here. so you're going to want to make sure that your directory has uh, the, um, the, the required files for Unity are available. It will give you an error. So if you're not in the right directory, and I do an install, so open UPM add com.game frame.water 2D. So I'm in the wrong folder. You're going to see we're going to immediately get an error basically saying it can't find packages.manifest.json. So you need to be in the Unity project packet directory. So here we are. We're in the right directory. I run the same command over again, and we will go ahead and run that. And it added the package in. It would have done any dependencies if there were any. Uh, so now what we're going to do is fire up Unity Hub. We'll open up that package or that project right there. And this is going to take a few seconds, so I'm just going to pause it while it loads. Actually, you know what? While that loads, I'm going to show you one of the kind of features that is nice about Open UPM, and that is going to require me to open up Windows Explorer. And now I'm going to go to the App Data folder, App Data, like so. All right, here we go. So you'll notice if I browse through here, I have a Unity folder. If we look at the Unity folder, we're going to find we have asset store and asset store and so on. Well, this is where all of your resources are added. So if you've downloaded something, uh, it will be uh, so not there. It's in editor 5.1. No, where is it? Here we go. So all of your assets get added here globally. So when you're installing something this way, it's adding it directly to the project. And I was going to show you something about this folder. So this Unity install isn't really that old. And there is a gigabyte here in terms of stuff there. I actually checked this once and it had 36 gigabytes worth of content in it. So it's one of those things to be aware of. That is where all of your Unity content is being added. So if you're wondering when you actually add a package or a package manager, it's being added in app data, at least on Windows. Uh, so that is something to be aware of. All right, so here we go. We just installed this package right there. You're gonna notice if we go here to the uh, package manager, you're going to see, doo -doo 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 -doo. so this is the other way you can install packages, by the way, inside of Unity. This will, again, install them at a global scope, and then you install them into your project. So, for example, if I was doing, uh, let's do Bolt. I think I've already got Bolt downloaded. No, I don't. Uh, uh, anyways, I'll show you the process. So if I'm installing Bolt, it installs it right here. This process 
pulls it down and puts it in a global repository. All right, so that we've done part one. And then what you do is say, I want to import this into my project. And then this copies it into your local folder. So using OpenUPM, you're kind of skipping that one global registration. It, it's, it's kind of a, a double-edged sword. If you're the type of person who makes all kinds of projects and you use the same package in a bunch of them, that's going to be a bit problematic. But truth of the matter is, that isn't a lot of people, actually. It's pretty much people like me. Uh, so anyways, that is the process of installing a regular package. So go here, let's look at the in the project section and my 2D right there, game frame, water 2D, you see it's deposited there. Now you can notice it shows up outside of all the Unity technology stuff, but that is the package we just installed. So if you want, details are available there. Uh, and if you wanna get rid of it, you can get rid of it here or you can get rid of it back here at the command line. I believe the command is open UPM remove and then just com game frame dot water 2d uh there uh now you do have to open and close your project i don't think it's going to be smart enough to know oh maybe it is oh wow i'm impressed it actually was smart enough to know so now if i go back here to the package manager it is gone so it's it's kind of the same stuff it just gives you a command line version of it and the other key feature is it allows you to, to install it directly to uh the project not um you know, globally and then into the project. So if you want to learn a little bit more about OpenUPM, once again, it is available at openupm.com. Come on here, click up packages, and you will find out that there are, uh, okay, we got a white screen. There are a lot of packages here. So you broke it down into various different categories. I don't know if there's a summary of the number of packages here. This is one of those infinite scroll things. So um, it just keeps going and going and going. But you're gonna notice the packages are broken down by, oh, wow, it's really slow too. Uh, the packages are broken down into a variety of different categories. So for example, if you were looking for particle effects packages, uh, you can click right there. Hopefully this comes back to, I don't think it liked my super scrolly. All right, so you see here, these are just particle related packages. Um, there's a ton of content on here. So if you're looking for open source add-ons, again, that is the other, the, probably the biggest nice thing about this. Everything you see here is open source and uh, the UPM, so open UPM service is actually handling the build process for you. So that's definitely nice. Now let's say we were looking for uh, cameras or camera controllers, etc. Here we go, a ton of different camera. Actually, there's not a ton, there's about a dozen. Uh, you're looking for dots or ECS stuff. There's a number of packages around the concept of uh, empty component systems or the dot stuff uh, available here, et cetera. So if you are looking for a package, this is a great place to start. Um, there's also a pretty good solid documentation. Obviously just click docs at the top here. Uh, you'll find out how to do the install. Uh, you've also got a little bit of a breakdown of why you wouldn't just use the Unity Asset Store or there's other third party registries out there like uh, Xcrew, UPM packages and Unity NuGet registry. Um, they're, if they're hosted on uh, GitHub, if the packages are hosted on GitHub, OpenUPM can actually be hooked up to work with them. So it is pretty open in the system. Everything, all of the packages are opened on, are hosted on um, GitHub itself, and everything here is powered by uh, various different open source uh, projects uh, go together to make OpenUPM work. Uh, but you got details here of how you can actually, you know, if you want to add your own package in. Uh, here's the details on how to go ahead and do so. Uh, you've got command line, uh, how to actually use it from the command line, uh, the instructions all available right here. So getting started walks you through pretty much everything you need to know. Uh, it's pretty straightforward and easy to work with. Um, and it, it works in parallel, as you saw with the built-in package manager. So if you're the type of person that wants to work from a command line, or you wanna do a tool to automate uh, creation of a new project, or you just don't want things installed in the global scope, or you just wanna stay 100% open source, open UPM is a good place to start. And uh, it's pretty straightforward, by the way, if you want to get rid of it, again, pretty easy, uh, just do npm, uninstall dash G open UPM uh, dash CLI. And that will uninstall the command line tool from your system and then open UPM is basically gone. So that's it, uh, open UPM, uh, open Unity package manager service out there. Like I said, there are other options out there. And of course, there, there's, if you're happy with the package manager that is included with Unity, uh, which has definitely gotten a lot better and a lot more important, the move to packages has been a big part of recent Unity development. Uh, but if you're really all about the open source thing, uh, or you wanna, again, keep it to a project level scope, or you just like the way that this is done, uh, OpenUPM is definitely a project worth checking out. Let me know what you think. Also, if you've used another package manager and you find one better or worse, let me know those things, comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.